Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 50th anniversary of the McGill Des Hotel MBA program. I uh, would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of our almost 300 guests that have registered for this weekend. Also, I'm told that we are fortunate enough to have three members uh, of the original and first MBA class, the class of 1965. I'm happy that I'm here and two other members from our class of 22 also came, John Burns and Seymour Schulich. It's going to be with enormous pleasure that I'm going to go ahead and call upon three of the graduates from our first MBA family and basically ask them to come up to be pinned. I think in terms of a toolkit, you know, an MBA is not a substitute for vision or for drive. But as Thomas Edison famously said, a vision without execution is hallucination. The McGill name has a, uh, a very positive effect. Uh, and a very strong effect. How's everyone doing? All right, we're the people from Canada, by Applause Canada. All right, all right, all right. International? All right. What I liked about the audience is it was very multicultural. The people in the audience came from all over the world. The confines of the McGill campus to me represent my ideal vision of Canada. A pluralistic Canada, an open Canada, a bilingual Canada, an excellent Canada. We had 16 countries to that last point. In our MBA, I will always remember this. 16 countries represented on 70 students are just about. McGill MBA gave me something more uh, important, more precious, and that is a friend in every corner of the world. Awards funded by alumni speak eloquently of the strength of our MBA alumni community, which candidates aspire to join. Now is the opportunity for us to show the impact makers of the future that we, McGill MBA alumni, still care deeply about our program. I'd love to come back. Listen, I miss my time at McGill for sure. McGill MBA alumni, santé et merci beaucoup. A guy called Whitmore said this. A hundred years from now, it won't matter what your bank account was and what sort of house you lived in or what kind of car you drove. But the world may be a very different place because you were important in the life of a young person. I think that's one of the most profound things I've ever heard. <laughs>